Hey YouTube, this is Lucy from kbeautyhobby.com. Today I am going to show you how I apply the Dashing Diva Gloss, which are nail stickers made out of real gel, and they last about 14 days on me. They don't chip and don't peel. I love these very much. So I'm going to show you how I do it. As you can see, I have quite a few different designs here, including a pedicure pack. Some of them I've already used, of course, and some are brand new. You will need some very basic tools to do this. A nail file, which actually comes with the pack, and it's a, it's a good file, I actually like them very much. A cuticle pusher of some sort, this is the one I have. It really helps to have a cuticle pusher also with a rubber tip like this one. You can get them very inexpensively on Amazon. Alcohol, prep pads and then something to cut with. You can use nail clippers, I prefer scissors. This is the set that I chose. It was from the Dashing Diva Fall Collection. We get three different sheets of little accent nails, one of them being little gems. Not every set comes with the gem ones, this one does. And then behind the foil layer here, there's a second set of just the plain gels. Here it is. These are not very expensive at all. I'll put links in the description box of where you can get them, whether you're in the US or international. But these are a good value, in my opinion, for the money. I definitely get at least two applications out of them, if not more. The prep step is the most important. It actually sometimes takes me longer to prep my nails than to put on these things. And prep really is key in for long-lasting manicure. So step one is you will gently push down the cuticles on your nails. That's why I use this metal tool. You can use an orange stick, whatever you prefer. Don't be fooled. If it looks like you have no cuticle, I would still push down a little bit. Do you see this part? There's something called invisible cuticle and it is basically skin there that you can't see. But if you put a sticker on top of that, it will not stick. You, that's where people have peeling and lifting issues. I do not cut my cuticles. Of course, you do whatever you'd like. As a reminder, I'm not licensed in any way. I just do nails often, just my own. So I know what works for me, but you, of course, do what works for you. I already prepped my nails a little bit before this, just to save time. So it actually takes me a bit longer, typically, to push my cuticles down. But for the purposes of this video, I try to save a little bit of time. Then we want to figure out probably which nails will go where, and then use the alcohol wipe to wipe off any sort of oil or anything that you may have on your nails. These alcohol prep pads are very inexpensive. If you'd rather use a bottle and then just saturate your own cotton pad, you can do that. I find that that produces quite a bit more lint, however. These pads are not lint-free, but they're way less linty than the regular cotton pads you may get. I went through and picked out which sizes work for my nails and lined them up. This is the left hand, this is the right hand. I did have to trim one of the thumbs a little bit just to make it fit my nail size in general when in doubt go a little bit smaller versus a little bit larger if you pick a sticker that is too large it will overlap some of your skin and again you'll have lifting and peeling next is the application process i recommend using little tweezers or you can just use your hand if you want but you don't want to touch the part that will be sticking to your nail with your fingers. My nails are fairly short, and so I don't have too many issues here. I can just hold the, the very end of the sticker and the part that actually goes onto my skin, I never touch. But if you have very long nails and you need most of the sticker, then definitely, definitely use tweezers. Please excuse my super dry nails. I actually have a health condition that makes them drier. Okay, so we got it on, and then I'm going to trim it 
with scissors. Okay, then I'm going to take this rubber cuticle pusher and I'm going to just press it down. And this is what eliminates any little air bubbles in there. This step of pushing it down with a rubber cuticle pusher really, really makes these last a lot longer. This does a much better job than just your fingers. And then the last step is to take a nail file and file vertically, not side to side, just a little bit to make sure that the sticker is completely flush with your nail. Because again, if any of it is hanging off, that will be the part that catches and you have peeling. So that's it. Now, if you don't want to use scissors or clippers, I'll show you another way. So we'll go to the next nail, peel it off, apply it. You want to get as close to your cuticle as possible without actually going over it. Push it down. Now take your nail file and just file straight down without cutting. And you'll see that the sticker comes right off. Now we can just clean it up a little bit. You have to excuse if my nails go out of focus. I'm kind of trying to look down at my hands while also looking through the, the camera to make sure that you can see what you need to see. It's a little bit more complicated. Okay, it's a lot more complicated than actually doing my nails without the camera. I'm going to pause here and go ahead and apply all the rest of them and then I will show you what it looks like and I'll show you my last little trick for making them last even longer. Okay, as you can see, I have finished putting them all on. My nails are short by choice. That's just how I prefer them. If you like long nails, I think these sticker lengths accommodate just about everybody unless you have just very, very long nails but I think probably most of the regular nail lengths of these would accommodate just fine. You could definitely stop right here and just be done. Nothing else is required. I am going to try these gem things. I'm just going to put them on a couple of nails just to see how those work. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a clear coat of gel over these nails because I feel like that definitely makes them bulletproof and they look fantastic the entire 14 days. Looks like there's this little outline that's not part of the sticker, that's just part of the little paper behind it. And I think that's there uh, for you to gauge size. So I'm curious how these work. I've never used the little drums. Okay, don't wanna damage them. That was a little bit hard to peel off, to be honest. Put it on and smush it down. Dashing Diva also makes magic press nails, which are like plastic feeling nails that you just peel the backing off of and smush those on. Those are definitely faster to apply than these. They last about it says up to seven days on the website. For me, they last about 10. I do have a video on how to do those. And in the beginning of that video, I show you what these kinds of nails, these gloss ones, look like after being on for a while. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Okay, I think I'm going to put this one there and that will probably be it. I feel like I have a lot going on already on these nails, but I'm just so curious with these little jam things. Okay, that little one was a lot easier to remove than the big one. Okay. Maybe I'll use my little tool. Okay. 
Okay, like I said, you can go ahead and stop here. The gel part is definitely optional and it doesn't say anything about that on the official website for Dash and Diva or in any of their application instructions. You can use whatever kind of gel that you want. I still have leftover Jamboree stuff from when I sold it. I'm not into MLM things anymore at all. I have a video, actually two, talking about my experiences with MLMs and if you're into anti-MLM content, definitely check that out. So I'm going to swirl it, make sure that there's not a big glob of gel left on the brush. And then I'm going to apply it, making sure to cap the tip. And I'm sorry, my camera is definitely going blurry, but hopefully you get the idea. You basically want to make sure that your gel base and your gel top coat cover the free edge of your nail. If your sticker was going to peel anywhere at all, it would start peeling either at the cuticle because you didn't push the cuticle down well enough, or it will start peeling at the tips because you are using your nails as tools, you are scraping stuff, whatever. I don't really have issues with that at all, but just from years of doing nails, sorry, I'm going off camera. I know that that can happen. Okay, the base coat is on all of these. Now I'm going to take my lamp, and any kind of gel lamp is fine. And these cook, bake, cure for a minute, but just follow the instructions on your gel and your lamp. Base coat is cured one minute for each hand. Again, follow instructions for your specific gel and lamp. The next step is the top coat, and that's the final step of this whole process. A little tip, do not shake your bottles. You wanna kind of twirl them instead. That goes for all polish. It basically prevents all clumps in the brush and then when you pull it out, do it with a circular motion. Same thing as with the base. You want to make sure you cap the free edge. I have this newfound respect for YouTubers that do all of these nail application videos or like really close up makeup things, especially if they do not have a production team, this is super hard. It is really difficult to make sure you actually A, do a good job and B, everything is in focus and that you're looking at what you're doing and also looking at what the camera is seeing. It is like nearly impossible. So hopefully, you understand I'm not a professional YouTuber and hopefully you have some grace for me. The top coat is on. Now we're going to cure that for one minute on each hand and we will be almost done. I'm all for the official instructional videos for these things on the Dashing Diva website, but I feel like they're very simplistic. They don't show you any tips or tricks or how to file the edge as well. And sometimes in the official videos, I even see that the person didn't apply the nails perfectly. Like you can see the little imperfections, the little buckles, and that would drive my perfectionist self absolutely nuts. So I hope using my tips and tricks, you get your perfect application, maybe not the first time, but for sure the second or third time, and you are happy with the results. Let me know how they turn out if you do try these. The very last step is to take an alcohol wipe and just wipe off your nails. This will depend a little bit on the brand of gel you're using, but pretty much all the gels that I'm aware of that need to be cured at the very end need to be wiped off with the rubbing alcohol. And that's because the top coat leaves behind this tacky residue even after being cured and the rubbing alcohol wipe takes that residue right off. That is it. We're all done. Now, I don't have to baby these. I can go ahead and do dishes if I want to. I can go ahead and do laundry and whatever else that I need to do. It is a good idea not to, let's say, go soak in a tub right before or right after doing these, just to give them time to really stick to the nail well. And if you're doing like a shower or bath right before doing these, most likely your nails are very saturated with water. But other than that, 
there's really nothing special you need to do with them. That's it. You can just go live your life. For me, these last two weeks easy and I take them off at the end of two weeks, not because they look bad, but just because my nails get so grown out. But as far as like peeling and those kinds of things, I really haven't had any issues. And I've done these multiple times by now. I think I got my first set in early summer and I've basically been doing these or the magic presses consistently. I just really love having things on my nails. Removal is easy. You just need to soak a Q-tip or a wood stick in some polish remover and gently slide it between your nail and the wrap. Do not just rip off these stickers, of course, you will do damage to your nail, but with gentle removal, no problem. I hope this was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave me a comment and a like, and you can also find me on Instagram at kbeautyhobbit and on my blog kbeautyhobbit.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.